Hi guys, this is Justinetta. Thanks for tuning into my channel. And I was tagged to do this video by the Chrissy Q here on YouTube. And I'll have her link below so you can also check out her channel. Uh, she has a great channel. Does lots and lots of um, product reviews. Okay, so jump right into it. I think it's like 15 or 16 questions. So my hair is nickname. I currently do not refer to my hair by um, a nickname or anything but early on like a year or so ago I was calling her Addie because she always had an attitude and then I even gave her a, a middle name of Tempe <laughs> because my hair was very temperamental and my hair is still um, temperamental and just does what it wants to still has an attitude for no apparent reason like a kid but I just don't it just those names didn't stick it just wasn't natural for me to call my hair by a name okay uh, let's see my hair's birthday is August 30th so this August 30th will be two years on my new natural journey um, six years prior I wore locks for six years and I'll try and include some pictures I have to dig some up but I'll include some pictures of my um, some of my lock days let's see um, the color of my hair so the natural color of my hair is like a dark brown and it's real dusty and so I like to keep it um, colored black. I like to put a black rinse on top of it. And then I have like a gray Morgan Freeman patch right in the front. And right now I like to keep that covered up. What is my hair type? I am definitely in the family of four according to the chart that's out. Okay. Um, and a lot of 4C going on in the front and then 4B around the back and the crown part. The texture of my hair is very fine and the density is thin. So um, when I do my twist outs, I have to do a lot of pulling and manipulating to get my hair to look full because it's, it's very thin, fine and thin. What is my hair porosity? <laughs> It's, it's high according to the test that I did. Drop a clean strand of hair in a um, glass of water. If it floats to the bottom, you're, you have high porosity hair. If it stays at the top, it's low. So I have high porosity hair, which means absolutely nothing to me because um, it just doesn't mean anything. I, my hair, I just take care of my hair like normal. And in fact, I don't even really, really know what the characteristics of high porosity. It has a lot to do with moisture retention. How your hair absorbs moisture, holds on to moisture, and all of that. My hair speaks to me. Me and my hair, we we got this thing going. So I know what my I know what my hair needs. Like if it needs moisture, if it needs um, a protein treatment, which is hardly ever. Um, I just know what my hair needs. So anyway, hair elasticity is normal. If I pull my hair, it bounces back. Like I think that's what it's supposed to do. Um, do I have any medical history or setbacks for my hair? Um, what I'm paying attention to now is my edges. All the men in my family are bald and some of the women hair is thinning, like female pattern baldness. And my edges have thinned out quite a bit. Like I got these spots right here that are thinning and it's just something that I've noticed throughout the years and I just got my eye on it. Let's see, um, my best hair memory, my best hair memory would have to be, um, I got distracted, sorry. My best hair, um, memory is my locks, and again, I'll add pictures. I loved my locks. I only got rid of them because, I don't know, after six years, I cut them, and then after that, I don't know, the journey was just over for me. I want my hair to be loose. So that is my favorite hair memory. What is my worst hair memory is when about, I don't know, a couple of months into my new, this new journey, I wanted to go get my hair cut and kind of shaped up and the girl cut my hair um, considerably lopsided, considerably lopsided. And so I still haven't went back and re um, got my hair recut which I want to to get it reshaped and I was just real irritated with her so anyway my funniest hair memory I got two one was um one time I was at work and I was standing in the cafeteria line and there was this um black lady and I think she was from Africa 
she was <laughs> she was standing behind me and she was eyeballing my hair and you know I kind of turned and she was just piercing at my hair and then she tapped me on my shoulder and I turned around she said is that a relaxo you have on your hair and that was funny to me and if you didn't understand what I said <laughs> she said is that a relaxer that you have on your hair and I have my hair as a fresh wash and go so I don't know why she thought that was a relaxer and that was hilarious to me and then another funny thing was um a couple years ago in my class reunion i was see my class reunion was september 8th of 2011 and i had just cut my locks out on the 30th so a week prior so my hair was like a fish out of water it was real tight on my head i didn't quite know what to do with it my two strand twist you know i hadn't I hadn't um, mastered how to style it yet. So I went to my class reunion. My hair was drawn up on my head. And I just looked a hot mess. It's funny now. But it was not funny then. Okay. My hair favorites. I absolutely love Eco Styler Gel. The olive oil formula. Um, the white one. The crystal. I like that one too. Um, for leave-in. My favorite, favorite leave-in. My number one, I have like three favorites, but my number one would have to be Reve Essentials. And my favorite conditioner to condition my hair with and to co-wash is Tresemme Naturals. And then also my beloved Dimming Brush. Love, love, love my Dimming Brush. Um, my hair enemy would have to be Protein. And I know there are lots of different kinds of Protein. Um, Hydrogelized protein, some wheat germ protein, soybean protein, and some of them are, have softening agents in it to make your hair soft. I don't know, but I stay away. I try to stay away from all protein, um, at least for um, overkill. I definitely can't overkill on the protein. My hair will start getting really, really hard. Let's see. Have I met any of my hair goals? Yes. I wanted to master the twist out and the wash and go and just get to that point of, no matter what's going on, I can style my hair and um, not panic. So even the next morning, if I didn't like how my twist out turned out, I can put on the headband and put my hair in a puff or do whatever. Do I have any upcoming hair goals? Absolutely. My goal is to find someone to cut my hair and shape it up right. And um, I live in a town where it's not a whole lot of naturals. And it's definitely not a whole lot of people who specialize in natural hair. So I'm just kind of... Keeping my eyes and ears open for someone. Even if I have to travel, if I'm traveling this summer, I may look up someone and get my hair professionally cut and shaped. And I think that's it. So that was a fun tag to do. If you make videos, if you're watching this video and you make videos and you haven't been tagged yet, consider yourself tagged. And I look forward to seeing your video. And I'll see you guys later.